Hello, I'm going to do the Scorpio Capricorn Connection reading. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. We're going to pull some Romance Angel to put down the middle to see what connects you. And then we will pull some tarot for each sign and close out with an oracle. All right, we have chemistry, we have deception, and we have you deserve love. All right, so we're gonna pull some for Capricorn. The cards are just flying out. Not really sure what's going on here. All right, we have Nine of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the King of Cups. Four of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the High Priestess. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, we have the Seven of Cups, the Tower, the Three of Wands, the Moon, the Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, the Sun, Three of Cups, and the Pentacles. So for Romance Angels, we have chemistry, deception, and you deserve love. So I feel like the two of you have chemistry between you. I feel that for Capricorn, that you're ready to move forward with a relationship, but you, but you still have some reservations. You still, you're holding back with something. You want to move forward but you're still holding back with something. I feel like there's still something that you're hanging on to. This could be a past relationship that you're hanging on to. It could be some past memories. Maybe you just got out of another relationship. Um, but you're listening to your inner voice and you're in, you, there's one side of you that's saying, yes, take this opportunity, move forward, like it will be okay. Like you have to trust, like in order for you to find this 10 of cups, you have to take chances that you can't just be like a turtle and close up and you can't want to have a relationship with someone if you're not going to make the effort. Deception, I feel in this instance is, are you deceiving yourself about what you want or what you don't want? Are you saying to yourself, that I don't really want this, but really you do want something. So I feel like it, in this instance, I feel deception is not being true to yourself about what you really want. And that could go for either one of you because for Scorpio, we've got the Seven of Cups, we have the Tower, and we have the Three of Wands. So I feel like the both of you have gone through something. Now it could be that the two of you are in a relationship and the two of you had a breakup or the two of you have had a big like blow up or the two of you like something big happened, but the two of you still feel that you have this chemistry and the two of you feel like you both want to be with each other um, because we have this sort of, you know, stressed breakup sort of energy here. But then for both of you, your last row is moving forward, success, 10 of cups, the sun, three of celebrating, you know, having those rewards. So I feel that the beginning of this is either if you're new and you've just met each other, you both have things that you have to let go of. You both have things that you have to move on from before you can start a new relationship. Right here for Scorpio in the middle, we have the Ace of Cups. So you're ready to either reconnect with Capricorn or start a new relationship with Capricorn. Um, 
I feel that the two of you definitely have a lot of chemistry. So for Scorpio, you either just had a breakup with somebody or, you know, and you're still a little emotionally attached to that. Like you're trying to move forward, you know, it's going to take you a little bit of time. Or it's that the two of you had a really big blow up and the two of you have to rebuild your relationship with a stronger foundation. Like maybe in the beginning it was a little shaky and... So, you know, the two of you have kind of come to the conclusion that, yeah, there were some problems with the relationship, but you're ready to start this again and try this again. And this time it's going to be built on a stronger foundation. Sorry, the girls are... Girls, please. You already had your video. We already did your video this morning. <laughs> you were already on camera. <laughs> All right, so I do feel like you have positive energy coming in for the two of you here, but it's a little rocky in the beginning. Um, I kind of feel like the deception may be on Capricorn's part saying that, you know, you're really not being true to your feelings. Um, you have part of you that's holding you back, but there's part of you that really wants to move forward. So you're like, I want a relationship, I don't want a relationship. So I feel like you need to find you know, that listening to that inner voice that's telling you and follow that, not overthink things, but to f just, you know, go with what you're really feeling. Let's see. Um, let's use these. And let's get some clarifiers, see what's going on here. Let's do the Nine of Swords. What's going on with the Nine of Swords for Capricorn? Yeah, you're holding back. You're keeping things to yourself. I feel like you're not expressing yourself. You're not saying how you feel. You're not releasing something. So if this is a new relationship... Um, that you're just starting with Scorpio, that you've just met this person, you're still holding on to things from a past relationship and almost putting those past energies into this new relationship with Scorpio. Like you're holding on to those things and you're projecting that onto Scorpio that, oh, Scorpio is going to treat me the same way this last person did. And that's what you're holding on to. And that's what you need to let go of. Um, we have the Queen of Swords again. So the Queen of Swords represents somebody who can get past a difficult situation. She's been through a lot. She's dealt with a lot. But she's going to persevere. She's going to use that sword and stand up and, you know, get rid of those things. Cut those things that don't work for her. And she's going to move forward with things that do work for her. For King of Cups, which could definitely represent Scorpio for you, Capricorn, it's about... When you're in this relationship, whether it's a new re whether it's a new one or it's one that you guys are reconnecting in, it's something that you have to go slow with. It's something that you have to take your time with. It's not something that you want to rush into. It's because I feel like that will scare Capricorn off. You'll be like, whoa, 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 this is going too fast. You know, I'm still dealing with this over here. So I need to take this really slow with you. Like we just need to take our time. For Four of Cups, we have the Six of Wands again. So a Six of Wands represents success and victory. Taking that chance, you know. Um, go ahead, Capricorn. Take that chance. Um, you're never going to... I feel like if you don't take that chance, chance you're going to have those questions in your head. Oh, I wonder if I had... You know, what would have happened if I... Um, you know, so those type of things, I feel like that's what's going to be in your mind if you don't take that chance. <clears throat> for a knight of swords we have the wheel charging forward wheel the wheel represents positive change positive things coming in it's a new cycle give scorpio so it could be this new relationship give scorpio a clean slate start fresh if it's you guys reconnecting it's yes this time around hopefully you know things will be positive you know Things will be different because you've learned from your breakup from before and now, 
This time around, it's going to be different and better, and your communication will be better. The high priestess, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And the high priestess, you know, that represents listening to your inner voice. It represents revealing your inner self. It represents, you know, kind of taking that mask off and sharing how you feel. Maybe that's what was the problem between the two of you, is that there really was no communication. Like, the two of you just were not communicating and saying how you feel and you were saying yeah it's okay it's fine it's fine it's fine but you weren't being true to yourself for eight of cups we have the seven of cups there's a lot of emotions that capricorn has pent up and bottled up and you having this card on top of that card it's about letting go of those things like i said if this is a new relationship do not bring you know those things that happened in the past with other people into this with scorpio because that's not fair you have to give scorpio a clean slate now can you completely erase everything no but if you have those feelings of something's creeping in like oh the last person i did you know is it a red flag or is it just you being over overthinking something is it just you almost putting that energy into the situation you know obviously if it's a red flag and it's you know something that really doesn't seem right then that's a different story but I'm but I'm feeling more like it's you know bringing that past energy into this new relationship and then also if the two of you are reconnecting it's about okay yes you've got to work through those things that happened and then you have to put those aside leave them behind and try and start fresh because you both have seven of cups so there's both a lot of things a lot of memories a lot of emotions that are going on between the two of you now you both have the tower so we have the success card and then we have the tower i feel like in this instance i feel like the tower is for Capricorn about you breaking down the way that you were thinking before, about you putting possible negative energy in, about you dragging in, you know, things that happened with other relationships. And it's about you building yourself stronger, about you building yourself in a more positive way um, so that you don't self-sabotage. You know, maybe that's what you were doing is self-sabotaging a relationship and you're you're like, oh, is this too good to be true? I have to tear this down. You know, this this seems so good. Like, I've got to find something to, you know, sabotage this relationship. And maybe that's what you are doing. So that's what you have to look at. Um, I just feel like for Capricorn, it's a lot of self-reflection about your own actions that you're doing. For Ten of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords. In the past, relationships may not have worked out, and maybe it was because you were self-sabotaging. Maybe you were putting this energy in there. Um, you know, I think the hardest thing to do is to look at your own actions and look at your own um, things that you were doing and what you were projecting and what you were bringing into a relationship. Um, and that's something that's really hard to do because... You have to really, um, you know, that self-reflection can be really hard and it can be emotional. But I feel like if we can recognize the things that we do, it doesn't mean you have to completely change who you are. Um, but at least recognizing that, yeah, maybe I was contributing to why this didn't work. Um, and that's something that's really hard to do. And I feel like that's something that Capricorn has to, has to do. I'm not saying that you're a bad person. I'm not saying that you're the one that's causing trouble. But I feel like the cards are saying that you need to look at your own actions and your own perception of things. Um, all right, so for Scorpio, we have Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles is putting some hard work in. It's going to take some work. Because um, you have some emotions that you have to work through. You have some things that you have to work on. Um, maybe you need to be a little more emotional. Maybe you're just, a, you know, you're closed off. Like you're keeping everything inside. Um, we have the Tower and the Five of Swords. So, you know, I feel that You have to worry about what you're doing and not what other people are saying or doing. And don't let them influence you. You make the decisions that are best for you. Don't let other people 
you know, what they're talking or saying influence you. And maybe that was, you know, if you the two of you haven't met or something, or it was a relationship, like you're letting other people get involved in your relationship and you're letting them control you. Like you have to stand up and decide what is best for you. Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, we have a new start, a new beginning, a new fire, a new passion, um, a, new, a new beginning. For the Moon, we have the Two of Swords. Also, the Moon can represent looking at those actions that you're doing. You know, what are you bringing to a relationship? What are you putting into a relationship? What kind of actions are you doing? Um, you know, are you opening enough up enough are you communicating enough are you bringing past energy into this relationship also um are you letting other people influence your decisions in this relationship or was it in that past relationship that's what happened is that you let other people get in the way and this time around when you meet capricorn or with when you're with capricorn you're going to make the decisions that are best for you and not letting other people be involved in the relationship for Ace of Cups, we have Eight of Pentacles. I feel, definitely feel like this relationship, if it's a new one, is going to be different for you because you know you've looked at your actions that you've done before and you're going to tweak those things that need tweaking so that it's just about you and Capricorn. It's not with other people. If it's a reconnection in a relationship between the two of you, it's about you looking at it differently and doing things differently for ten of swords we have the king of pentacles that could represent capricorn um it's a new start you're ready to put the work in you're ready to you know if you you want to be patient also because capricorn needs you to be patient and capricorn needs you to take things slow and i feel like that's what you need too is you are willing to be patient, you're ready to wait, because you feel like, Cap I feel like you feel like Capricorn, this is a really good match for you. Um, with, with all this energy here, like you, if you're reconnecting or you're starting something new, it's like you feel very strongly about Capricorn, that this is a good connection for you. Because I almost feel like you both have the same things, that you both need to look at your own actions um, and you and then you both are looking at each other's actions so I feel like you both need to work on yourselves um, so you're both kind of going through the same thing for the Sun we have the fool I mean how great is that it's a new start it's a new beginning it's taking those steps whether it's reconnecting or somebody brand new I feel like you're both if it's a new relationship I feel like you're both going into this really strong and you're both you know coming from a good place um, three of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. It's about not rushing anything. It's about taking your time, just being really slow with this relationship and not pushing, not putting any expectations on it, but really taking your time with it. And I feel like it's going to help in past heartbreak. It's going to help with maybe there is a disconnect, but there's going to be a connection here. It's about moving past, you know, leaving behind, if you were together, that old relationship and starting new and starting fresh or if it's you're just connecting for the first time it's moving past those old relationships and having a positive new one um i'm feeling like angel answers so let's pull one of these So I feel like for both of you, you have to look at your own actions and your own perceptions of things and what are you bringing to the relationship. We have no need to worry, okay? There's no need to worry because I feel like you're both coming from the same place and you're both going through the same thing and you're both ready to take this slow and steady, but you both do feel that chemistry and you both know that you do, you know, deserve love. And I really feel like you're coming at this a lot stronger um, and from a good place. 
and then we'll pick one here trust so you have to trust in the situation you have to trust in yourself you have to trust in your partner and I feel like the two of you are going to have that because you're coming at it at such a good clear place being able to look at yourself and see what you're bringing in and look at that other people person and knowing that you can trust that person all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time